late afternoon Saturday 9th of April 2011 sees 3265 being shunted back into storage near Maitland Railway Station overnight for the following day's activities. And then the following day, Sunday 10th of April, sees 3265 standing at Platform 4 of Maitland Railway Station, waiting to take another run to Branston. You see her first as Chris looks her over, standing on the uh, platform between 2 and 3. Then a view from the uh, road bridge near Maitland Station. And then we view her departing for Brankston. There is a diesel loco attached to the other end of this train, but we're not worried about diesels. We're more interested in the steam loco, and in this case, loco 3265. Well, that takes care of 2011. Bit of wind there on the camera microphone. And now we move up to 2012 and much later in the month too. It's Saturday 28th April and 3265 is arriving at Newcastle. The centre runaround track that you see there was taken out and by the following year, it was well and truly gone. 3265, by the way, is a 1901 vintage 32 class loco. 1901 being the year of Australia's Federation. The, well, you know, the court's sister loco is 3237, which was built in 
1900 and served the Lachlan Valley and was so named Lachlan. Of course, 3265 was named for the area in which it served all its working life. Newcastle Hunter Rail Lines. That there is a water tank. It's a second view of the, uh, well, for this part anyway, a second view of the loco. Beautiful burgundy coloured livery there. Some men working on her. The cameraman Chris works his way along the platform and gets a better bandage point as he does. That there is the water tank we mentioned just a moment earlier. In the days of steam all the stations had big water towers that uh, were used to replenish the water supply of steam locos. But these days those water towers are a thing of the past therefore the uh, Logos have to carry their own supply. Now we move to the following day, Sunday, 29th April 2012, and 3265 is now standing at platform for Maitland. I'm about to take off for Brankston. And once again, there's a diesel at the other end of the train. But, as I said earlier, we're not interested in the diesels, we're interested in the steam logos. Great number of kids looking on at this logo. As Chris Bentley and I were growing up, these sort of uh, logos were a everyday common occurrence but for today's kids these logos are a rarity and she goes away to Brankston
Later that day, we see 3265 again standing at platform 4, belching out a heck of a lot of smoke there. smoke and a lot of steam and the fires are doing a bit of quick maintenance there or checking something over And she's about to take off for another run to Brankston. There she goes. It was a bit wet that day too. You can see by spots on the camera. And still later in the day, again we see her back at platform four. Got her checking her over again. Later on again still and we see her now back on platform two at Maitland.
This is Charlie T. Bird, Chris's mascot. Chris tries to get Charlie into the picture as often as he can. It seems Charlie's just as fascinated with these steam locos as we are. When Chris isn't shooting videos of steam locos, he's creating characters like Charlie. Okay, now we move up to 2013 and it's Saturday 13th April we'll see another engine coming in here um, 3016 but um, the one we're interested in of course is 3265 coming in at the other end of this double header And as you can see now, the centre runaround track is well and truly gone. There's 3016 going past. And here now is our star logo with a little inset showing a bit of a close up. Pulling in behind this electric train, intercity train. And now we see another view of 3265. People posing for photographs with it in the background. This is another of Chris's creations, this penguin. Chris is a very crafty person and he likes to create these animal characters or birds. Here's another view of 3265 and its water tank. Sadly, you don't get to see this anymore at Newcastle Station because of an act of outright treason by the state government when they closed Newcastle Railway Station in 2014, Christmas night of all nights. There's that penguin again.
and again as 3265 prepares to depart for Maitland. A lot of joy riders on board. And now we switch to Sunday. And there's 3265 standing at platform one. And there's me shooting a video of my own of Steam Fest. This first Three Steam Fests featured here have been shot by Chris Bentley. The last one, 2014, was shot by me. See 3265 still standing at platform one. And now we come to the part that I shot. This is Sunday, 13th April 2014, and what would be 3265's last appearance at Steamfest for quite some time. Just saw a moment ago pulling out of Platform 4, now we see 3265 arriving at platform 1. Three two six five coming in from a run to Newcastle. What would be the last steam fest that Newcastle station would take part in?
and as the opening credits say, this video was inspired by Josh Dean. G'day Josh. Josh Dean who shoots videos under the name Steam in New South Wales. And while I'm at it, let's give also a shout to Aidan Teske. Also, Tim's video channel over there in England. Trestleg One, who works out of Melbourne mainly and shoots videos of trains and trams. And this is where we leave our look at 3265. Hope you enjoyed this video.